Go behind the Iron Curtain with the North Korea Travel App. Well, we decided to create a travel app for North Korea for really two things. First of all, for, for tourists who are actually going to North Korea to help them uh, better plan a, a trip. And secondly, for what is probably going to be the much bigger audience for armchair travellers. We've tried to be as transparent as possible about, about the ethical dilemma involved in travel to North Korea. The app has almost everything that you'd kind of want in a typical tourist app. It has restaurants, it has bars, it has shopping, it has hotels, it has museums, uh, and also like some really nice looking scenic sites. Like you want to find a beautiful scenic mountain to visit in North Korea, this app will help you do it. But it also is not going to show you places off the beaten path really. It's places that are approved for itineraries for tourists. You're not going to find any like black market sites or prison labor camps on this app. That's not the image of North Korea that it's selling. And it is selling something. The, the app is obviously designed to get more people interested in traveling to North Korea. It's a bit of a tough sell, obviously. It's poor, it's oppressive, it's hard to get to. It's not your typical or average vacation spot. It's got its risks. There's a State Department travel advisory out which warns that you have essentially no rights. You're not supposed to throw any sort of disrespect for any of the Kims, grandfather, father, or current ruler. The other question about anyone who's thinking about taking a vacation in North Korea might want to ask him or herself is whether you'd feel comfortable playing in a country where most people are deprived of their political rights and are in economically dire straits. <laughs>